hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Maker with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. You join us back in our marvelous little keep where everybody is studiously doing things studiously. Um, now, we haven't touched on this, uh, we haven't looked at our keep at all, actually, to be honest. Um, but basically, your keep uh, is a little way to buff some things. Uh, you'll see a keep is made up of a number of rooms. Those rooms, if you put your nobles in at those rooms, they will boost certain things. As you can see here, put these two guys in the throne room and we have a boost of 4% to our construction speed. These two peeps in the library, a 3% boost to our research speed. And this peep down here, which is a 2% uh, boost to our silver production, uh, which is working well. So you've got to make sure that you always keep your guys in there. Now, they will become idle if you summon them and you use them in another place. So by summoning, I mean, obviously, if you... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Damn it, Gil. Um, so if you send them off to, say, trade or something like that, once you summon them and they come back, they will just become idle. They won't go back to the room they were assigned to before. So you have to keep an eye on that. Now, what are we doing today? As I've said before, we are basically doing a series of videos where we're going to do some gameplay and then interspersed between those videos will be some tutorial type videos, um, which we've done a couple now, I think an army basic one and a champion basic one. Today, we're just going to be looking at where we're at and we're going to be uh, upgrading our castle to level 10 and potentially moving. Now, we can move our castle. Uh, wherever we kind of like, I guess. Um, and this is an option that comes up also through the story. If we see here, chapter one, season one, a half like king, relocate your city to a higher level county for higher value targets. And that's something we definitely have to do at the moment. Where we're sitting, we can attack like level one, you know, NPC camps uh, and stuff like that. And you can see all the people around us are pretty low levels. We're not necessarily going in for the kill just yet. We don't want to be hitting people just yet. Um, I don't know if I'm strong enough, but we do want to move closer to some of these higher level camps. So let's zoom out a little bit by pressing the state. Have a look around and see where there's a nice little county that I think would suit our purposes. Now, as you can see, if we get closer over to here, some level 9 and 10. So let's pop into here and have a quick look. Can we zoom into it? There we go. Double click, that's the way it goes. Okay, mm, all right, okay. So we've definitely got some higher level things, level 10 Marauder Camps and all that kind of stuff. I mean, we can defeat a level 10 now, I'm pretty sure. So it might be kind of wasting time to come here already. Maybe we should try and skip this and go to somewhere higher. Is there level 11 to 12s? Ooh. So this could be a potential. Oh, we can also click view there. Um, right, so level 11. What's this guy? Giga Chad. He's 3 million power. Core is 800. I'm terrified we're going to go and then we're going to get our asses handed to us uh, by some of these stronger people. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's just... I think we can move quite a few times. So let's just stay over here. Let's go for Corn Car because that's a stupid name. Zoom in here. Let's find a place to pop ourselves down. We want to be close to a trading post if we can and close to a dungeon. Uh, dungeon, dungeon, where's the trading post? Level 9 trading post is there. There's one, two, three dungeons around. Let's see if we can pop down here. No, let's see if we can pop down here. No, here. No, okay, there. There. Aha, relocate here for a possible stage. Let's tell we do it. We shall do it. Relocate. Are you sure you want to relocate? Relocate. Bam, we are now there and we have still got our thingy? I don't know. What's happening? We're building the city. Right, okay. How long does that take then? Damn. Oh, do they have to move? Ah, they probably have to move, which is going to take a couple of minutes, I reckon. Yeah, there they go. Alright, let's speed this up. Right. 
Rock and or roll, we have arrived. Fantastico. We still have our bubble on. We're about to get rid of that. But let's just tick on that and gain that thing. Fantastic. More Ravager camps. What does this mean? Defeat level 3, level 4 or higher. What? <laughs> we just moved to closer to the level 10s. What does it mean? I, want, I, have to go, I have to send my guys back now. Oh, that's super annoying. I guess... Uh, what's happened, I reckon, is that we haven't this, we haven't done the story as fast as the story expects us to do the story, so we're ahead of the story. So now it's asking us to attack level three or four. I think it probably assumed we would move to a state where three or four was the levels. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What we are going to do is level up our keep, become level ten, lose our bubble. Now, I play every morning and every evening, so before work and when I get home from work, um, I, I log in and I have a bit of a play on my PC. I don't play on my phone. Um, so what I'm hoping will happen is we're going to lose this bubble and then we're going to be attacked at some point during the day while I'm at work and we're going to come back and we're going to see the aftermath of these attacks. Uh, so let's just go in there because I'm kind of interested. I, I, I don't really want to be attacked, but I'm kind of interested to see how that works. Uh, let's go like a here, uh, like a here, uh, like a here, and then we should be able to speed this up, I reckon. Uh, use some of those, yeah. Bam, hurry up and finish, please. Five, four, three, two, one. I was too fast. Four, three, two, one. Bam, boom. We are now having fun, uh, go away. Fine, there, yeah. okay, close that, excellent. We're now level 10 and if I chuck out of here, we should no longer have the bubble. We no longer have our bubble. Interesting, now is there a way to shield ourselves? Okay, this guy's level 15, what's he got around him? What's this thing? Hmm. I would like a shield. I would like a shield. Ooh, nice layout. Lots of squares. I like squares. All right, let's go back to our city. Um, so that's. Um, I'm a little bit intrigued about how we. If we do a shield, X marks the spot. Open chests. What's this? Spend one uh, banner token. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Hmm. So is there a way to shield? Come in here to the inventory and let's have a look. Are there any of these things shieldy things? They don't, none of them look like shieldy things. Hmm. No, none of these look like shields at all, to be honest. Okay, so maybe there's no way to shield unless we pay money. Is that a thing? Uh, ba, ba, ba. I don't see any shieldy type things. Rare knight, a key. Hmm. All right. Well, I get what's that? Raining gold. I don't know what that is. I guess then we will uh, be in a situation where we're going to. Um, just be uh, available to be attacked. Now there was, wait a second, there was a chest for level 10 keep, was there not? Fancy chest, I think, if we come down here. Ah, we've got two. Uh, this one? Not enough, oh, okay, wait. Oh, we need these thingies. Where do we get those thingies from? I don't know, fine, screw it. All right, so now we've upgraded, fantastic. Let me just check in here. No, that hasn't changed. Let me just do something because I was testing something before. Upgrade the watchtower. No, we need the stonemasons. Okay, that's fine. Let's upgrade the stonemason. Where's that? I still can't work out how the um, army level increases. Yeah, so effectively now you can see that he has 342 troops. I thought it was tied to his level. It's not tied to his level. Uh, it's tied to something else, and I thought it might be tied to watchtowers. Upgrade this. Armies. No, that's 342. What is it tied to? Is it tied to these things? Uh, upgrade this. Oh, we need a farm. Level 10, where's the farms? There's the farm, upgrade you. Hopefully we've got enough of this uh, speed ups. 
like so, like so. Upgrade you. Four hours. Okay, we don't have enough of that. Uh, possibly. Uh, let's just try. Well, we did. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so that does that. Armies. No. Still only 340. Oh, wait, no. It's gone up. Shit. It is available more troops. But what? What changed it? Okay, so right now we can have 89. Yeah, okay. Uh, was it this? Go back, armies. It wasn't that. What changed? <laughs> was it the keep and maybe I just didn't zoom in? Damn it. Okay. Well, if you know, can you let me know down below? Because I can't work it out for the bloody life of me. Um, what is actually affecting the size of the army you can hold? Uh, which building upgrade does it? Because it's one of the buildings. I know that. I, I thought it was maybe the keep, but it feels to me like it, on level nine, I was able to add troops twice. It definitely isn't the keep, actually. I think it might be these buildings here. Um, I wonder if we've got enough. So 89 was the thing, yeah? Do we have enough stuff? Possibly. Just about. So 89 troops were allowed. And if we upgrade one of the training grounds or stables, how many troops are allowed now? Still only 89. Okay, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <sighs> That's uh, severely frustrating. Okay, but we are now level 10, uh, which allows us a couple of things. It should be allow us to have another army. Fantastic. So let's assemble an army. I can't seem to have a baby to save myself. I've uh, made the guys have sex lots of times, but nothing seems to have happened. Who's going to be in charge of the army? Explorers, merchant, merchant, explorer. Let's do Ira. Doesn't really matter so much, to be honest. Uh, let's give you uh, the this guys a sign. This guys a sign. Give you some arrow boys a sign uh, give you a champion uh, this one what does this guy do good bud normal defense champions this guy does anybody that's fine and let's give you some horses a sign like so okay so 46 so now we've got three armies which is excellent uh, we're not going to upgrade any of his stuff right now we will have to make him um, all of the equipment. So in the blacksmith, which is something you get kind of early game, we can come in here and we can go craft and we can craft a ton of battalion equipment. We've only got common at the moment, but we'll craft up everything that'll fit for that little man. And then we'll have a nice little army. We need those armies because obviously we want to be raiding as often as possible. Um, super important to keep up the raiding um, and see where we go. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. As I said, we'll have these little update videos on the actual gameplay, how we're progressing through the game. And then interspersed between those will be videos on my tips and tricks. So as I learn, I'm going to condense those learnings into a, a guide for all of you peeps in order to play. Now, the reason we're playing this again after nearly a year and a half is that this the original video on this game still gets a couple of thousand views um a week basically i think uh i don't know maybe a couple of hundred views a day or something like that. i don't know it, it's enough that it keeps on popping up in my thing and people keep on asking questions so i thought right let's see if we can make a quick series on this and get people's um knowledge up to scratch so that they all feel comfortable in uh, going out and playing this game anyway we'll see you in the next one thanks so much for watching eat some cheese bye